Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins where I thought I saw it just now I thought I saw this area on fire but I guess not um, we will be doing the end of the snake today um, and I wanted to maybe I'm a little far, but I'm close enough. Come on. Do the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Howdy. Howdy, my friend. This way. Or yonder. Glory and victory. Whoa. Custom marker. Yes. Alright. Game's got to warm up, as it does. I can't... I still can't believe it runs on this machine. It should. It technically shouldn't. It's technically not supposed to. Oh man! Don't be angry at me. You look like a guard, like a guard sort type. I just, just want to get this, this over here. Oh god! The frames. Yeah. <laughs> what? You didn't even seem mad. What? I didn't even see the little... Like, it didn't have, like, the white little bar that indicated guard's attention was being... was on me. Like a guard's attention. Cha-cha! <laughs> so I saw one of the tips in the menu thing was, um, sheep were the best in ancient Egypt because they were shorn twice a year for their wool and their milk was preferred over a cow's. So, so there's that little tidbit of Egyptian life. And now I can fast travel to the other one that's closer to my objective. That XP. There's quests everywhere. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, this one is in this area. Okay, which is close to this one. Oh man, is that the. Oh! Geez, that's very. Was that the. No, okay, those are trials. Okay, those are like the timed ones. Nope, nope, nope. We're going back. Going back over here. Per perfect. It does, it does like a little beep sound when I click on it. So it, make, it makes me think that it's like acknowledged that we're going to fast travel. But then it turns out you actually have to hold it down. Otherwise, it's just going to beep red at you. So I think I am liking the heavy weapons. I'm opening... A cherry coke today because the dang nab grocery store didn't have vanilla cokes and I'm rioting. A cherry coke is an acceptable alternative. They also have zero cherry, like a like like zero calorie. Um, vanilla coke, which I do have a buck. Don't be angry. I haven't done anything. Right this very second, anyway. But yeah, Cherry Coke is a decent alternative. Clear the okay, way. so first we have to do... We're, we're checking out... Or we're talking to a royal scribe? <gasps> For real? Wait, 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 wait. No, I want to see the Tomb of Alexander. Is it over here? Or is this more like a mem no? This is a lady. I was like, is it a memorial? As far as I'm aware, unfortunately, Alexander the Great was not a woman. But he met some very interesting ladies in his life, from what I've read. Including <laughs> Cleopatra. What? Hidden object. 
Where's the tomb? Oh, is this, is this whole thing the tomb? They said this was the armory. Oh, this is, yes, this is Alexander the Great. Who's that? And who's that? Is that, Ale these are his lovers, maybe? I don't know. Advisors? Mother and father? I don't know. Alexander's, oh shoot, is the king of Macedonia. Was what what was his name? Alexander's dad? Oh, anyway, his dad was like really, he set the stage for Alexander. He, he did, a, he did a lot of, a lot of work. Okay, maybe these are just like generic people. But then again, most Greek statues kind of just look like generic people. You know. This one looks cool, though. Pretty! Um, anyway. Where's his body? Wait, wait, wait. Oh! Can't... Ho ho! Okay, there were stairs, but, you know, it's whatever, man. <gasps> Can I... No! Let me in! I want to go in the tomb! Why won't you let me in the tomb? Let me just look at the sarcophagus or something. I don't know where, where... I mean, I'm a terrible archaeologist. I just don't... I never really cared about Egypt. It's like, where, where is Alexander the Great buried? But... Because this might legitimately just be like some sort of memorial. But cool beans. I'm sure the place he was actually buried is like nobody knows. Or it's been looted or found and destroyed and blah blah blah. Ooh. I'm a terrible archaeologist, I apologize. Oh, okay, we need to be careful here. We have to be not seen in the palace? What did we do to piss off the palace? Okay, hold on. Where am I now? I am not even close. Okay, maybe we can actually go the other way. Yeah, wow. Okay, the palace is, I mean, it's a palace. It is as palace does, right? It's huge. So it looks like if I could go around. But there's all kinds of cool stuff to find in here. Look at all these mausoleums and tombs and stuff. They got like pulley systems and stuff to get stuff up quickly. I could possibly go... I could go out here. Yeah, that would be the safer bet. What's on the boat? There's so much in this game. I freaking love it. All right, retreat. Retreat. Tactical retreat. I was gonna use Senu, but, like, not right then. I was still very far away, but I had to use Senu to figure out that... Okay, I should be good now. Please, you're fine. Oh my gosh, it's that guy again. Why do you have a Cerberus? You're not Hades. The the Hi, I'm not oh. in the grounds. Stay so there. You can't be mad at me. No, no, no. Beautiful. I want to be an environmental, like, person so bad. Like, nobody's gonna see this, but they put it in. And like, all these beautiful flowers everywhere. Working at Ubisoft on an Assassin's Creed game would be pretty cool if you got to do... Like, anybody who's, like, detail-oriented would be like, ah, like, you know? Cool, it's so cool. Like somebody had to these are probably actual breastplates and helmets, like from the period, like from the time. 
Somebody had to research that. Oh, these are, uh, horse. These are horse things. Oh, okay. I was, like, not looking, like, super close, but, like, looking at this, I was like, oh, because I didn't see the bottom part because it was dark on my screen. Maybe I should up the brightness, but... Cool beans! These are for horses! And, like, oh, they got, like, a chariot here, like a one-man chariot. Oh, cool beans. Like, somebody got to do research that, which is, like, my favorite thing to do is research. And, like, another somebody, like, that same person probably got to implement it, which is my other favorite thing to do. Oh, but I'm 27, and it's too late for me to learn to be a good artist. <laughs> and screw digital art. There's no, I have no idea. Only ever done traditional. part of the palace? I feel like it is. I must be careful yeah. now. Okay, let's do, let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, up and over, my boy. Okay, we're gonna do this safely. <laughs> safely, 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 no! Okay, that's okay. As long as you think you're okay. Okay. Watching the sunrise on the east side of the palace, right next to the ocean. Objective in proximity. Perfect. Over there? Perfect. Ooh. Nobody noticed me, bird. Ah. Palace has so much security. What the heck? Is there a treasure in here? Cool beans. Um, I think stealing from the palace is not my best idea. But... You know, we make do. This is so cool, though. Like, in another game, you could maybe just, like... I don't know. Even in this game, you could sneak through if you wanted to, probably. Kind of, like, maybe stealth assassinating as you go, you know? Or, like, just sneaking if you wanted to do that sort of thing. Or you could just do, like, what I feel like a real-life person would do, which is, like, literally find the, the least... The path of least resistance and go from there. My gods here are vigilant. Yes, they are. Let's see if we have anybody. Let's see if we can even. So the guy's in there. Oh, okay. Um. Oh boy. Guard. Oh, I'm just trying to make sure my path up here. Uh huh. Okay. The thing is, is I'm not, like, I can go in the back way here, but unless there's, like, another roof access from the back, I don't know. Really? There's no windows that are open? If I was a real assassin, I would just break them, cut a small hole in them or something. Okay, so I can maybe sneak in the back bottom way. There's one guard wandering around over there. And I haven't... There's not any in the house, I think, but... Could be very, very, very wrong. Joking music. Trying to come on. Shh. Uh. 
I am the stealthiest. Oh my gosh, is there not stairs? How do you get into these upper areas? Cool though, look at all these scrolls. Are you freaking serious? How do you get in there? Hey! <gasps> Wait a second. Oh man. Hey now. Time to die. Got you. Nope, choop choop. comes by they're gonna die there wasn't I don't understand can I break windows how do they get in there hello The, you get the special treatment. Come here. Do, 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 do. Go in this bush. I don't know if that counts. That doesn't count. You're very obvious. Here, let's see. Okay. Now I put you in the bush. Okay. Oh, hey. doesn't tell you what my reaction is to being surprised. I don't know what will. Okay. Let's just uh, revisit your friend here. Here you go. I don't understand! What? No! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here. Oh, I'm not close enough. Going to got you. <laughs> yum yum. Quick! All right, all right, all right. Okay, I'm a terrible assassin, but this is really unfair, to be honest. There's no stairs. Unless I'm just an app. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I hope I edit some of that out. Mm, an absolute idiot. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be around a corner. Usually stairs are very prominently placed. Okay, now what? I did, I entered it, now what? Oh, ooh, okay, symbols. These are the rooms of the royal scribe. Random Ptolemy, Ptolemy they were recorded by the royal scribe. Interesting, okay. What do you want me to do about it? Um, looks I Looks what? important. Okay. Locked. Okay. Wait. Okay. Oh, uh-oh. 
Nada. It's hmm. broken. Yeah, I had to get a letter to get you off my back because I missed the stairs. Okay, so this is just this is the investigation room right here. Uh, what are these? Do you have any secrets? The guard symbols are kind of distracting, to be honest. Um. Looks important. Locked. What do you want me to do? Do I need to do something else? These are the rooms of the royals. Hang on. Um. It's not gonna show me. I did get a new shield, but it's not a good shield, so I'm not gonna worry about it. That one's got a curtain on it. The other thing he doesn't. Wait. Mm. It's always the stuff behind the desk. I feel like I should be able to go into the next room. In the investigation area anymore. Do I have to like climb? <laughs> climb all these papyrus scrolls. Okay, I don't see anything up here. So it's, there's the ladder, right? And wait, wait, wait. Something over there with a broken ladder. Where's the scribe? Broken ladder over here. <laughs> climb it. No, no climbing. Oh, we can't. A ladder. Are we gonna mm. do a ladder? What? Missing something really, really obvious again. Aha! Jump. No, Bayek. Bayek! Climbing on priceless papyrus scrolls. Hello, handsome. Official papers. This just belongs to the royal scribe ah! himself, the Doros. Oh, I just choked. You Doros oh, is that guy who plagiarized. Oh, it just hurt my heart. A letter. Esteemed Ibis. Ibis. The Pharaoh remains compliant and is our puppet in all things. Act with caution in Siwa. The murder of the Heron was but the first. Two from among us here in Alexandria have also been killed. However, the situation is under control. Canadios is actively questioning the populace. We commend your efforts, Ibis. Long life. Stamp to the seal of the snake. So the snake scribe? is your daughter's. The royal scribe. Okay. Your daughter's. Oh, that's right. I it said does. that the royal scribe is often at the bathhouse. Huh? I will kill that naked ear that your daughter's there. Naked ear. I shouldn't say it. Okay, back out. This is the front, right? 
Yes, we don't want to go out the front. Wait. There was an open window I could have climbed into? It is towards the front, though. Very, very not good place to be chilling. Let's hope the guard rotation hasn't been refreshed. Can we... Hang on, baby. Oh. Uh, that's where I am. Okay, so far, no guards in the vicinity. Cool beans! Out we go. In and out, easy peasy. We're gonna, I didn't have to murder three guards. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't know what you're talking about. Because my eyes are broken. Let's go! Drop. Drop carefully, carefully, carefully. Okay. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. No problems. Actually, can I? Oh, uh, inventory. Oh, right, that. And then the new shield that it's still is like, please look at me. Boo. Target. This is the last one! I'm very confused. Layla. Oh, I could go out to Layla. I should go out to Layla. Maybe after this I'll go out. It might, it might make me go out. I feel like the game will pull me out of the Animus when I have to be out of the Animus. And usually, because it was Desmond before, I was like, Ugh, I don't want to play the whiny boy. Oh, my life is so hard. Oh, I ran away to become a bartender. This is the most attractive thing I can think of. My controller, no. Everybody is making me do stuff, and it's really hard. Oh, he was so annoying. Did not like him at all. Right, okay, whoops, I forgot. What we were gonna do, though, let's check and see if... Oh yeah, let's just fast travel. The bathhouse is super close to the temple. I think that's where I was going. Or where this viewpoint is, it's the temple. There it is, long live the sheep. Reach a ledge and if I doesn't leap off, you can force him to jump. Look how cool he is. Bayek is super cool. This is so pretty. Oh man, I can't remember the, the picture taking. Is it? Nope. Oh! It's, no, but that's not, that's not the right one. <laughs> Is this the way I'm supposed to jump? It's this way, towards the where the finger is pointing. That's right. Oh, this isn't the temple. This is just like a pavilion of some sort. Okay, here we go. Palm leaves, perfect. Bouncy as a bed. Um, where is it at? Oh. I keep looking for it on my little Skyrim compass at the top. Wait, don't just leap off like a madman. I should be. Come on, come on, Bayek. Come on, come on. Bayek. I don't need, don't need to crouch, darling. Okay. Ooh, you scared the crap out of me. Ooh, incense. You can see it floating through the air. It's like a money changing station, and there's flowers everywhere, and beds. I mean, seriously, people slept outside because like it was so freaking hot. Like, <laughs> oh, I am so sorry. I I am real. I'm really sorry. Don't don't crush your arms at me, Dad. I'm really sorry. I just wanted to look and see what you're doing. You look kind of alchemy-ish. <laughs> Ooh, 
I can just I can just walk into the bathhouse. Mm, it's going really slow. I feel like a cutscene's gonna happen. Do I not? If if I don't get the chance to actually plan out how to assassinate him, I'm gonna be mad. If it happens in a cutscene, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be mad, aren't I? I'm gonna be mad. Bayek, we're naked. <laughs> what? It's a good thing we shave. Do I even have? I don't. What do I have? I can't even I use Senu! Doros to court for plagiarism. No. I was visiting the docks and heard it from Aristo's wife herself. His wife? She works as a to histrionics over nothing. Eudoros stole whole paragraphs from Aristo's book about the Nile. Everybody's naked! And there's guards in here. That's awkward. Okay, all I'm gonna have to. I'm so sorry. It, the button. Chooses his horses, but the building alone is where he's seen his wife. Look up at that expansive. What? Simply divine. What? Close your eyes, children. There's naked people everywhere. And it sounds like people are peeing. I could just like assassinate these guards. Like, what the heck? Is everything to your liking, my lord? The water is a bit tepid. Such incompetence. That's awkward. Um. I. Of course, the men aren't fully naked because no one wants to see a wee wee on television. Um. Can I? My lord, are you properly served? Quiet. See that my towels are ready. If I climb, will I get in trouble? Nobody's gonna notice. Nobody's gonna notice. It's fine. Bayek, you're extremely agile in a towel. Uh, best not to draw attention here. Oh, yeah. Wee! What was that in my wrist? If I have to get back out of here, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm in an enclosed space. This is a terrible spot for an assassination. If that guy was smart, he'd start yelling. But he's not. Back in the day. Like die and be done with it. May the gods curse you. What cause of you to kill me? It was you who murdered my son before my eyes. You are a fool. At the temple in Siwa! That forsaken shithole? I had nothing to do with that disaster. It's too late for your lies. Anubis awaits. Oh. It's worth the loss to slay the snake at last. The snake? The snake will never die. Go. Son of Apep, the Lord of the Duat awaits. Wow, this is that's really cool. It's really poignant, I think, when he does like that specific that specific death scene. Are you? S yes. Okay, okay, okay. No, no. So in the original, right? I'll tell you. Killed. Who? Oh, they're gods. He's been murdered. Shh. 
Aha. But he was okay. so handsome. Uh. <laughs> he was not handsome! My man! My man, your eyes are broken! There's better fish in the sea, I promise! Okay, hang on. We're gonna... We're gonna... Okay. No, 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 no. Please, please, please buy it. We're gonna scoot along the wall. Anyway, no. So Altair, uh, the part of the part of the entering the assassinate the assassins organization was cutting off your ring finger. It was done like it was a, it was a ritual. It was done to prove you were ready to wield the blade because um, and that you were willing to sacrifice what was necessary. So I, I don't know if the blade is actually historically accurate. If the, I think it is in some respects. It's been a bit tweaked a bit. Um, but there was, uh, and the assassins, they actually would cut off, like, the assassins, like, the actual real people that the assassins in this game are based off of, um, would cut off the ring finger basically to symbolize, if, if I remember correctly, to symbolize that they were willing to sacrifice everything for their organization, basically. They were willing to sacrifice anything, you know? And it kind of was a symbol, it was a sign, like, oh, hey, there's another one, there's another one, you know? Like, it was like a camaraderie thing, um, sort of, partly. Um... <laughs> Like a, oh, there's another there's another comrade type thing, um, but um, it's also just to signify you were ready to do this, you know. And so that's really interesting because I'm pretty sure um, Ezio didn't have to because yeah, I know Da Vinci fixed it so he didn't have to. Um, they like altered the design of it, um, and but it, but in this instance, yeah, like. It was, it was not only a ritual, but it was also practical because the blade popped out right at your pink, at your, at your ring finger. And so to, to minimize the risk of it happening like on an assassination or it getting in the way, they just cut it off. So it was practical as well as ritualist, ritualistic. And, oh, hey, how's it going? I wasn't paying attention. I was busy. And I have nothing. I'm, I'm, no, what? Buy it. Oh, man. Oh, this is what I get for nerding out. Dang it, it's okay. We know how to get out. But, um, I would have done it too if it wasn't for that stupid Greek soldier and his- He was so beautiful! No, he wasn't! My man, there's much better fish in the sea. Dang it, I, Egyptians ate wall. What? Run! Anyway, so that's really cool, because I'm pretty sure ever since, like, Altair, since Ezio, basically, um, we haven't had to do that. Or since Altair, I guess, but starting with Ezio, we haven't had to do that because the design, because we've been going forward in time, basically. So the design was improved in Ezio's time, and did not we did not feel the need to regress because we kept going forward in time, basically. Or at least, even if it wasn't chronological, it was um, close enough. Like it was, it was still going forward even if we went back a little bit, but never back far enough. I don't know if this is far enough back. That like the design would be the, would be flawed like that. Um, this is not a safe place. I, there's bathhouse people. Okay, let's see if we can actually. Hang on. Maybe we can just sneak out and pretend. Because we're not we're not in the red right now. Okay, we just walked out. Easiest assassination ever. But yeah, that's so cool. Ooh, ah! I mean, it's a good way to stop the bleeding. Also, is what these people are saying true? Like, are these guys that he's assassinating, is he kind of just assassinating? <laughs> we get a bathhouse outfit, oh my gosh. Um, so the snake is a bad man, right? They're, they're, they're controlling the pharaoh, you know, they're, they're, they're hurting people on purpose, like, he's a bad man, make no mistake. But Bayek is specifically doing this for revenge for his son, and I feel like his wife is kind of maybe now, she's on the revenge boat for the son as well, like, hardcore. But I feel like her being involved with Cleopatra and, like, the actual assassins, I think, like, she's sort of like a freelancer go-between at this point for them, um, so I think she may be sort of, they're like, they're like, kill these people, you know, these were people that facilitated your son's death, and they're like, okay, no, like, no questions asked, but like, 
I don't know if Bayek's going to be in some sort of moral quandary. I don't think he should be. These people are bad. But, like, you know, you cut off the head and another one appears, like, type thing with this sort of a thing. Like, the corruption is so rampant, like, you know, in, 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 in this organism, in the Egyptian, not even, yeah, the Egyptian, like, hierarchy, I guess, you know? And the pharaoh might be a nice guy, but he's letting himself get his strings pulled, you know? But, I feel like there's there might be something to it. I mean, it's deathbed confession type stuff, so you don't know if this guy is actually, like, if they're telling the truth, or, or if they're telling the truth when they think they are. The deathbed confessions are a really interesting thing in Assassin's Creed, because, like, you hear these guys saying these things as they're dying, and they fully believe in a lot of what they're saying, and sometimes you can be like, no, man, you're 100% wrong. Like, obviously, you're ideologically wrong, you know? Like, it's not okay for to be doing the things that you were doing type thing. You're not gonna bring peace. This is not gonna make anybody's lives better, you know? And then there are people who are just downright evil, who don't care, who are like, you know, man, I did it because I wanted to. And it's like, you suck. But the people, like, right now, I feel like they're kind of dropping hints for Bayek, sort of? I don't know. It seems really interesting that it might be some sort of, like, moral sort of quandary thing going on for Bayek at some point, or some sort of, like, something he's gonna have, something he's gonna have to face at some point that, like, we're not fully aware of yet so it's gonna be cool i'm really excited so this one went a little bit long because i got distracted with like flowers and stuff but anyway i hope you're all enjoying it as much as i am and i will see you in the next one